Let's start this section by a quick overview of exceptions. First of all, I'm going to add a package in this project. I'm going to write all the code for this section in this package. So let's add a new package called exceptions. As you can see, I've created packages for the other sections of this course. You can find all these packages and all these files in the zip file that I gave you at the beginning of the course. Now, in the exceptions package, I'm going to add a new class called exceptions demo. This is where I'm going to demonstrate concepts. Here, I'm going to add a public static void method called show. I made it static so we can call it easily from the main method without having to create an object. Okay. Now, let's go to the main method and call exceptions demo dot show. Now, back to the demo class, I'm going to create another static method, public static void say hello. We give it a parameter of type string called name. And here we want to print name in uppercase. Pretty straightforward. Now, in the show method, I'm going to call the say hello method and pass null, which represents the absence of a value. Now, when I run this program, our program is going to crash. Let me show you. So our program crashed. We got an exception or an exceptional event. And the type of this exception is null pointer exception. This is the root cause of many problems in Java programs. Now, this null pointer exception is a class that is declared in this package, java.lang. So an exception is an object that contains information about an error. In this case, this object is an instance of the null pointer exception class. Now we have several exception classes in Java and you'll learn about them as we go through this section. Now let's see where this exception occurred in our program. We got this exception in the say hello method on line nine of this file. If we click, we can go to the offending line. So this happened when we tried to call the to uppercase method on null. That is why we got a null pointer exception. Now, how did we get here? We got here from the show method on this line. Okay, but how did we get to the show method? We got here from the main method. So this information that we have here is called the stack trace. It shows the methods that have been called in the reverse order. And this is very useful when troubleshooting problems. We can see exactly how we got to the offending code. Now, back to our say hello method. When an exception occurs in a method, we say that method threw an exception. Just like how a person can throw a ball, a method can throw an exception. Now, when this happens, the Java runtime looks for a block of code in that method for handling that exception. We refer to that as an exception handler. In this implementation, we don't have any exception handling code. I'll show you how to add that later. So the Java runtime looks for an exception handler in this method. If it doesn't find it, it goes to the previous method. That is the show method here. Again, we don't have any exception handling code here. So the Java runtime goes back to the main method, hoping to find an exception handler. We don't have one here. So that is why the Java runtime terminates our program and displays the exception. Now, as a good Java developer, you should prevent such exceptions from happening or anticipate and handle them properly. And that's what you're going to learn in this section. In the next video, we're going to talk about the different types of exceptions.